Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Friday, October 13th, 2023. Friday the 13th. And we begin with superstitious thrills bumping paths with October's chills. Friday the 13th is a date that strikes fear into millions of people, while for others, it's just another day. The date has deep historical roots in Western culture and myths, along with superstitions that continue today. For instance, the next time you're in a hotel elevator, check and see if there's a 13th floor. Many don't because some guests might refuse a room there. And while some people do have real fears like triskaidekaphobia, fear of the number 13, and paraskavidekatriphobia, fear of Friday the 13th, psychologist Stuart Weiss says he doesn't consider them to be phobias in a medical sense. One famous person who isn't afraid of the number or the day? Taylor Swift, who was born on the 13th of December. In fact, she actually considers it lucky. According to the Old Farmer's Almanac, most years will have either one or two of these notorious Fridays. Two years out of every 14 will have three. And months that do have a Friday the 13th begin on a Sunday. Residents in one Utah neighborhood are painting Halloween pink. Inspired by the summer blockbuster, a group of homeowners in the Daybreak community of South Jordan have transformed their houses into a real-life Barbie land, decorating them in themes like Disco Barbie, Pool Barbie, Beach Barbie, and not to be forgotten, Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. There's even a Barbie graveyard strewn with pink tombstones, pink coffins, and Barbie skeletons. This isn't the first time this community has gone big to celebrate the annual Spook Fest. Past themes include Harry Potter, Encanto, and Stranger Things. What is new this year is the unexpected crowds. Thousands have shown up so far to check out the decor, causing unexpected traffic jams, with some looky-loos arriving as early as 8 a.m. For better or for worse, Greta Thunberg is not letting brushes with the law hamper her fight for environmental justice. The now 20-year-old Swedish climate crusader first gained international attention when she began skipping school in ninth grade to protest in favor of lower carbon emissions. In a Stockholm courtroom this week, she was ordered to pay the equivalent of around 200 U.S. dollars for disobeying police at a July protest in front of an oil refinery, where she and her fellow activists blocked the entrance and refused to leave. This is her second court appearance and second fine for a similar incident in May, but there are no signs of her slowing down. After the latest verdict, Greta said, we have the science on our side and we have the morality on our side. Academic alarms are ringing as test scores point to more pandemic fallout. According to the New York Times, current 12th graders taking the ACT, a standardized test used for college admissions in the U.S., had an average composite score of 19.5 out of 36, the lowest number since 1991. Students in the class of 2023 were high school freshmen when COVID-19 hit and many schools transitioned to remote learning. While many colleges and universities currently don't require ACT or SAT test scores to apply, these test results show that 43% don't meet college readiness benchmarks, suggesting that they are unprepared to do the work even after getting in. As one senior administrator at ACT acknowledged, these students had that disrupted experience and likely are in need of some extra support. Number 13 fan Taylor Swift is poised to become queen of the silver screen. The movie version of her sold-out Eras concert tour officially hits theaters at 6 p.m. tonight, local time, in roughly 100 countries across the globe. Some lucky Swifties got a sneak peek last night after Taylor announced on her Instagram account on Wednesday that theaters would be adding early access showtimes due to demand. Later that night, the pop star made a surprise appearance at the film's Los Angeles premiere and took pictures with another queen, Beyonce, at her side. The New York Times estimates the film could bring in up to $125 million this opening weekend. AMC theaters have released a set of guidelines for those who plan to attend the two-hour, 48-minute show. No recording is allowed, but Eras attire and friendship bracelets are encouraged, as are singing and dancing, just not on the seats or in the aisles. The most important rule of all is to have the best time. Still to come, a viral video offering proof that Bigfoot is real or not. But first, the Kid News Quiz. 
Months that have a Friday the 13th begin on what day? Sunday. What popular movie is this year's Halloween theme in one Utah neighborhood? Barbie. What was the average composite score for students taking this year's ACT? Nineteen point five out of thirty six. How long is Taylor Swift's Eras concert film? Two hours and forty eight minutes. In our Kid News Kicker, a Wyoming couple's train ride through Colorado took an unexpected twist this week when they claimed they saw the large, hairy, mythical creature known as Bigfoot and captured it on camera. In the video, which has been viewed more than 500,000 times on X, something or someone can be clearly seen lumbering across the mountainside. Reaction to the sighting has been mixed. Some call it a prank, but there are plenty of true believers. According to Newsweek, Bigfoot sightings are not rare. They date back to the 1800s and have been reported in states all across the U.S., with Washington racking up the most. Real or not, as eyewitness Shannon Parker told the news outlet, the experience was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Before we go, shout-outs to our Kid News Classrooms, Mrs. Feet and Barker the Bulldog at Brown School in Brownsburg, Indiana. To California for Ms. Niles and her thriving students at Nye School in San Diego. And Ms. Fredrickson and her hardworking hawks at Hidden Hills in San Ramon. It's Friday. That means our Week in Review quiz is up on our website. And for those who signed up, our weekly word search is in your emails. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning.